Well, aloha and welcome. Thank you so much for joining me on this podcast today. My name is Paul Fletcher, and this is The Healing Source. This week, we are in now in series number seven, and this is the third week in a 10-week series. The entire series is called the 10 Da series. Da, D-A, means greatest. So this is the, the series on the 10 greatest qualities of life. When you employ, activate, and actualize these 10 qualities in your life, it will literally change the different aspects of your life that might be troublesome. Most of us have some blockages or issues in our health, finances, our relationships, our job, a career path, success, um, and so forth. And what is not truly understood is that when we are in alignment with our source, we can resolve almost all of our physical world issues. But the alignment with source is something that tends to be difficult to accomplish for the vast majority of people. The 10 Da qualities, as simple as they are and as simple as they sound, when employed, in every moment of your life or whenever you're conscious enough to employ them, they in essence create a set of positive energetic conditions that as a natural side effect of actualizing them in your life, they create for you health, happiness, success, uh, prosperity, and benefits in your relationship. So what are these 10 qualities? They are the greatest love, the greatest forgiveness, Today's information is on the greatest compassion. Next week, we're going to share on the greatest light. The fifth of these 10 dot qualities is the greatest humility. Then there's the greatest harmony. The seventh is greatest flourishing. Eight, nine, and 10 are gratitude, service, and enlightenment. Each one of these have extraordinary attributes and qualities that most of us are familiar with, but do not necessarily activate on a consistent and purposeful basis. If you missed any of the previous podcasts, I encourage you to both subscribe and go back and watch uh, the last few. I spoke specifically on the greatest love, and then last week, the greatest forgiveness. I offered insights on how these can be tailored and sewn in, into your life, so to speak, how you can think differently, speak differently with love and forgiveness. And when I spoke of the forgiveness last week, I spoke of self-forgiveness, offering forgiveness, and asking forgiveness. This week, we're going to be focusing on the greatest compassion. Now, this 10 series was created or received as a part of a spiritual message from the source through Dr. and Master Jigong Sha. He certainly didn't invent these 10 qualities, but they were explained to him in such a way where he realized the necessity for humanity to really bring these to the forefront of their thoughts, words, and actions. And accordingly, he wrote books on them, made music for them, and has offered teaching about them. So much of what I'm gonna be sharing with you today has been borrowed information from Dr. and Master Jigong Sha, and I hope you go to learn more about him at his website, drsha.com. So today we're gonna to be sharing with you about Da Tsi Bei. Now that's Mandarin Chinese, D-A-C-I-B-E-I. Da Tsi Bei, it means the greatest compassion. The greatest compassion is one of the most extraordinary qualities, really, that we can have in our life. And prior to um, going live, I connected and I meditated and I asked the source, can you please give me a a, a download of information, if you will, on the nature of Datsube? What can I share that I do not already know, you know, intellectually, right? 
because I do know quite a bit, having studied and, and reading and whatnot, but I want to be able to share with you the essence of the wisdom of Da Sibe. And so when I asked that, I received instantly a message, a very powerful message. I was quite surprised at some of the additional information that I received. I'm going to be sharing that with you today as well. Now, in the uh, creation of these 10 qualities, the music and the associated wisdom and teachings, Dr. and Master Shah also created mantra and a song that goes with all 10 of these qualities. Maybe I will sing that song for all 10 qualities at the end of this series. <clears throat> but the song for just this one quality goes like this. Quite beautiful, even though it's Mandarin Chinese. That translates to the third greatest quality is the greatest compassion. Increase and uplift willpower, serve all humanity, create immeasurable virtue. So let us pause with that for a moment, because when you actually delve into and resonate with these words, these are truly filled with a depth of wisdom, the greatest compassion will naturally increase and uplift your willpower. Raise your hand if you have some willpower blockages. It's probably directly related to a lack of compassion. More compassion equals more willpower. Isn't that interesting? And part of it is because when we are compassionate, we are aligned to the source. The source is unconditional love. The source is the epitome of unconditional love. Compassion is a direct alignment with that. And when one is aligned with source, the willpower to accomplish whatever you put your mind upon is significantly enhanced. The next line was serve all humanity. Isn't that interesting? When I first heard about serve and service, uh, which I was about 24, 25 years old, and I was training uh, in a in a uh, university that was dedicated to studying the basic belief systems of humanity. It's a theosophical university. And I received a bachelor's degree in theosophy. But at this university, the, uh, the emphasis, emphasis was on service. Yes, we, we, we need to learn all the different uh, understandings and the commonalities and the, the love between all the different systems of belief out there. But the overriding um, ideology of this university was to serve humanity. And once again, it comes up because in service, we are actually aligning not only our heart and soul to the source, but isn't every other human and everything in life are originating from source? So when we are of service to others or to animals or to Mother Earth, we actually are in service to all. We are in service to humanity. And in actuality, we serve our own soul journey, which is the natural side effect of external service. It is when we are in selfishness that we create the majority of problems for ourselves. For those of you that came in late, one of the things I mentioned early on was that when we forget ourselves and offer service to others, we can solve a lot of our problems because a lot of us come in with health issues, relationship issues, financial issues, success issues. And by activating and actualizing these qualities of life, being more loving, being more forgiving, being more uh, compassionate, not only towards others outside of us, but towards ourselves. When we employ the other seven qualities not mentioned uh, yet, we can literally change every aspect of our life that it seems to be falling apart. And this is why these 10 dot qualities were brought to us, not just for you and me to fix ourselves, but for humanity to fix itself. Look around. How much of a lack of compassion is occurring in humanity? 
we have unnecessary wars that are driven by the financial machines of this uh, humanity that we're living in. We have a great deal of, of people in different parts of the world that have excess. And in other parts of the world, they have their in squalor. Why can't there be an equity of the sharing of things? There is no compassion in many pockets of the world because it is being controlled by those who are driven to power. They have ego, not enough humility, not enough connection to source. It's all about me, me, me. So compassion assists us to realign our priorities, to move more into service and into oneness. The fourth line of this mantra is Gong De Wu Liang, which translates to create immeasurable virtue. So let's pause on that a moment. Creating immeasurable virtue. I've said those words to people, virtue, and like, what's that? So we are a soul having a physical experience. We are temporarily here. We are permanently there. Where is there? Our soul in the heart of the source divine. That's where our permanent home is. We're very temporary here. And within that permanent residence, home, our soul, there is a record of every thought, word, and action. And in that record, there is positive thoughts, words, and actions, which is virtue. And there is negative thoughts, words, and actions, which is spiritual debt. Our virtue and our virtue bank in heaven affects our physical environment here on earth. The more we serve unconditionally, the more we have a compassionate heart. We literally, as a natural side effect, build up our virtue bank account in heaven, build up our positive uh, uh, karma or whatever you want to call it. It is the building up of this positive quality within the record of all our uh, experiences as a soul that our physical life can be dramatically, dramatically and positively enhanced. We very often in this physical realm get stuck in our pain. And I don't mean physical pain. I mean the emotional, mental pain. We get stuck in our depressions, our sadness, our griefs, our anger, our resentments. I'm right. You're wrong. They hurt me. They broke my heart. They did this. They did that. How come I don't get a raise? I cannot get ahead. Job this, job that. Why am I suffering physically? Da, 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 da. Health issues. We get so stuck in our pain that we fail to recognize that one of the simplest ways out is to go outside of ourselves. So by serving others, by being compassionate in our thoughts, we can do it from our sofa, in our words, in our actions. We are, in fact, creating virtue in our bank account in heaven. And yes, it's a good thing to go out and physically be a benefit to others. You can also do it from the, the proximity of your own home. When you serve, when you open your heart to compassion, your bank account in heaven, which records your positive service and your negative debts, your negative thoughts, words, and actions, when you record more of the positive service, that equates to uh, more benefit to you here on earth because that positive virtue comes down to your physical experience like flowers and starts washing away some of the suffering. So you get some solutions for the health issues. You get a, a leg up and get a better job. The relationship finally finds a solution and so forth. It's not, uh, it's not a physical world thing that brings that about. It is the removing of some of the spiritual debt that was causing it. Virtue offsets spiritual debt. So if you want to reduce your problems here on earth, you need to significantly enhance the virtue you have in heaven. And compassion is one of the best ways to accomplish this. So let us work with uh, some of the tools that Dr. and Master Shah has assisted us with. We are blessed that he has left uh, to humanity some very powerful tools. One of them is art, like this piece of art behind me here. The one you see on the wall is called Da'ai. I taught him out that a few days ago. 
those on podcast cannot see. So we'll be chanting and I'll be tracing a Tao calligraphy of Datsu Bei for you on your behalf. This chanting and this tracing, um, uh, basically what it does is each of these calligraphies, when they are created, Dr. and Master Shah, who has been trained for 30 years under a high, a very high level uh, uh, Taoist and uh, Buddhist and Confucian masters, uh, uh, who have, he's part of a major lineages, which connect to very high levels of source. And when he connects to do this art, this calligraphy, the source frequency and vibration comes through and into the art. And then it sits there and waits for you and I to interact with it. So when we connect to this sacred healing art, what happens is uh, uh, a connection to the source opens up and the frequency and vibration, the healing frequency and vibration that was placed within then comes to us. Okay, so let us do that now. I'm going to share a screen of the source calligraphy of Da Tzu Bei. And for those uh, listening on podcasts that cannot see it, that's okay. You simply connect uh, and I will, will bless your frequency and vibration. So we connect by using the four power techniques. So I invite you to close your eyes and silently repeat after me. Dear the soul of this source calligraphy of Da Tzu Bei, greatest compassion and all of the healing frequency and light transmitted within upon your creation as i trace and chant could you please bless me to heal and release any negative messages experiences around compassion or lack of compassion anything that's on my vibration that would inhibit me from being more compassionate and of greater service. Could you please bless me to transform that negativity to positivity? I'm very grateful. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And so I will now uh, trace this for everybody. And we'll chant together, Datsube, greatest compassion. And I will also chant this mantra that I just spoke of. And then we will receive some healing together. Now I want each of you to make a request first. So silently. Connect, dear my source. Your source could be unique to you. Dear my source, I love you. I would be so humbled, so very, very grateful. Receive your light, your healing frequency through this special healing art for my request. Take your request now to heaven. Thank you. So let us receive, and I will chant. Da, and for those that are live with me, those that are watching this in video form, you simply touch all five fingers together, and you follow the lines as best you can. For some of you, it might be your first time reviewing a source calligraphy, and it might be difficult to discern where the lines cross over, etc. That's okay if you can't get it just right. Um, the frequency will come to you regardless, okay? So I am tracing for you. And if you wish to, touch all finger, five fingers together and trace. And you may chant with me. Greatest compassion, 
greatest compassion greatest compassion greatest compassion greatest compassion and now let us sing the mantra Sandatsu Bay Yuan Li Tsung Chang Fu Go Jong Shung Gong De Wu Liang Sandatsu Bay Yuan Li Tsung Chang Wu Wu Jong Chang Gong Du Wu Liang San Da Tsu Bei Yuan Li Tsung Chang the third greatest quality is greatest compassion increase and uplift your will power serve all humanity create immeasurable virtue create immeasurable virtue create immeasurable virtue <clears throat> wonderful i'm going to stop the sharing for now and what i want to share with you is that when we open our heart which is what it is being present Presence equates to compassion. Because presence means we are present to the person across from us listening. Presence means we are present to the flower, the wind, the smells in the air. Present means when we see someone across the street that is not doing so well in their life, we can in the vibration of love and blessings. We can even chant love, peace, and harmony for that person's soul journey as appropriate. Presence is equal to compassion. And this was one of the messages that I received when I meditated prior to coming on today. And I asked for heaven's guidance. I asked for assistance with how do I present this any way that will best serve the most people. And it was explained to me that compassion is not so much an action or a word or a philosophy. It is a way of life that is a natural side effect when a person's heart is open. And when a person's heart is open, they have no agenda. They are present. I said that brings the natural energy of compassion. They also went on to explain in my meditation that compassion is not necessarily an external effort. It can absolutely be a service-oriented effort where you're externally being compassionate and assisting people physically. It does not have to fall into that category only. It was explained to me that compassion can occur when we simply think of, I want to serve Mother Earth. I want to serve the waterways. I want to serve my local community. And then you do an effort or an action at the level of your vibration. Right there from the comfort of your own home, you can meditate and see everything working out for those that are being uh, negatively impacted by something. You can chant uh, a mantra. And it doesn't have to be one that I know. You know, I would say, for example, love, peace, and harmony, or 
or a different mantra that carries frequency that I'm familiar with, you might Harry, uh, uh, be watching this and have a unique and specific belief system that you really resonate with. Wonderful. I am sure there is mantras associated with that belief system. So connect to those beings of love and light and those mantras and ask them to serve those around you from the comfort of your own home or wherever you are at. So compassion is about presence, not so much about an external physical effort or action. It also does not have to be uncomfortable where you feel like you're doing something that is out of your comfort zone. <clears throat> compassion occurs from the heart. You, do not, you may not be the kind of person that can comfortably walk up to a stranger and give and, and uh, communicate with them. That's okay. It does not mean you're not a compassionate person. It means you're acknowledging where you're comfortable and uncomfortable. But you can serve them from the level of soul in the same way. Okay? So this is what I've been asked to share with you today on this third of the 10 Da qualities. Next week, I will be returning and we're going to talk about Da Guangming, the greatest light, and how the greatest light can assist to boost your energy, stamina, vitality, your health, and how it will assist you with all the other aspects of your life as well. So until next week, I want to thank you for coming to this Healing Source podcast. If you'd like to know more about healing yourself, come to my website, wellspringoflight.com. I look forward to serving you. Until next week, have an awesome day, everybody. Bye-bye.